America Meditating Radio Show, we collect wisdom, inspire each other, and empower hearts 24-7. Hi, I'm Sister Jenna. Join me and guest on Blog Talk Radio as we amplify stories that compel us to be more for ourselves and everyone else around us. The entire world wants. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And humanity saw that the sky was not the limit. Achievement. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Are you in need of a tech service company that's going to deliver the best solutions for your business? The Natronica is your solutions headquarters. Here we specialize in your individual needs to make sure your business shines. For more information, please call 301-417-0070 or visit us at our website at atronica.net. Atronica, where we deliver for you. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. Mr. Rogers passed along friendship, hoping we would too. Friendship. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Are you stressed, frustrated, or annoyed at work? You don't have to be. Soothe your mind and open your heart as Sister Jenna guides you through a peaceful, calming meditation that will prepare you to focus, be present, and most importantly, bring you back to your inner peace. I'm Roger Nelson. I'm the founder and director of the Global Consciousness Project, and you are listening to America Meditating Radio Show. Hi, this is Valerie Alexander, author of Happiness as a Second Language, and listening to America Meditating Radio Show makes me truly, truly happy. Hey, everybody, it's John DuPerrin from Project Forgive. How are you doing? You are in the right place. For the highest level of conversation to feed your soul, American Meditating with Sister Jenna. Stay with us. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners Will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. 
And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith. We will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith. We will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. We will be Hello, everyone, and welcome to America Meditating Radio. Yes, that was the amazing Martin Luther King. And we are honoring his day today with all of the incredible power that he brought to the stage of consciousness, asking us to rise above and rise into what is our God-given quality, and that is spiritual beings with the power of equality and the power of love. I don't know how many of you were actually in those times as you're listening to today's show, but you knew what it was like when you would watch the television and hear about the atrocities happening in the South. I wondered what you felt because even today when I witness certain things in the world that just don't ring real or or, or true to me, I just know that that shouldn't be happening and that's just about enough of that. And a part of me really wants to get up and really begin to make a difference and make something happen. Imagine Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and an activist. He led the civil rights movement in the U.S. in the 50s. And then he never got a chance to live what he was going for. So the monument that we have in the nation's capital with Martin Luther King standing strong at the Smithsonian is a very powerful testament. I love the inscriptions that they have on the wall. You've got to go by when you come to the nation's capital beautiful sayings that um, light, uh, dark cannot push out the light. Only light can keep the light shining. There are just uh, hundreds of them that's just beautiful quotations and messages that are there. So we definitely invite you to come on down and, and take an opportunity to be into that. You know, many of us are talking about the full race relation. To what extent have we actually moved on from the assassination in 1968? How much has our the the story of black life that it really does matter and all lives matter. It's not a matter of just the color of your skin. It's just really, as Martin always reminded us, it was the content of our character. And when you remembered, even watching his documentary, and if those of you who were actually there on the real ground level of dealing with the story, what was it like when you knew you could not stand for an injustice such as treating very nice and kind and caring people badly all because of the color of their skin? Remember Selma? Remember that one? Remember the stories of the three young girls who died in the bomb senselessly? For no reason. I mean, so much has been going on. It's not just with the issue in our own backyard where America has continued to have to live through this ugly time in its history, but it's been happening in every great nation. There's always some opposite energy, what I call the dark energy, that's fighting something to just exist peacefully and harmoniously. Look at your own marriage, look at your own children, just look at yourself. There's that moment or that time within you where you feel like everything is going right and then all of a sudden this dark patch comes over you and nothing goes right. And then all of a sudden even you start to believe in the dark side of your personality, making that stronger than the truth that you know. Attachment is what I say is behind ending all truth. Today in our meditation class at the museum in Tyson's 2, we had quite a number of people there for 4 o'clock meditation. All of our Brahma Kumari Center, all 9,000 centers in 120 countries, took that day starting from 4 o'clock in the morning to be in solitude, in peace, and in silence, and in remembrance of God the Father. 
And I was amazed at the fact that it always falls on Martin Luther King Day. So just the feeling that wherever his soul is today, we are also supporting him for his continued journey in making a change on our planet. It was an uphill battle, but he didn't give up. And even though everything inside of him felt I wasn't going to live through this legacy, I know I was going to go, he didn't stop. So similarly with our own challenges in life and with our own situations, with our own situations that we bump into on a regular basis, we invite you to never give up on yourself, to hold tight and to hold strong. And with this, I'd like to play some wonderful meditation on letting go of the past and holding on to the present. Om Shanti The time that we choose to be aware doesn't necessarily require me to just sit and meditate but even while I walk and move around I can be in a meditative awareness which is awareness of the soul the original, eternal, imperishable being of light. For a little while, I'd like to invite you to be present, to be here, and to be now. Allow your mind to settle in the moment, to relax. This meditation is about awareness. It's about becoming aware of your original and eternal self. It's about connecting to your truth. Let go of your name. And observe yourself feeling nameless. Let go of your gender to discontinue thinking you're a man or a woman. Let it go and observe how you would feel walking around without a gender. Let go of the role that you play and let go of the titles that you own. Observe how you're feeling as you are gradually letting go. Let go of your religion and put it aside just for now. And let go of your nationality and even the language that you're accustomed to. Imagine you have no name, gender, role, title, religion, nationality, or even a language. Ask yourself. How do you feel at this moment? And in this feeling, who would think of you and who would you think of? Supreme Soul 
would think of you. And you, the liberated soul, would think of the Supreme. In this state of absolute freedom, I am truly who I am. A free, peaceful, pure, immortal, and eternal soul. Allow yourself to just be absorbed in this awareness. At this time,
will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. That one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. That my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Beautiful. That was Martin Luther's King's speech on the Washington Monument. Remember that? That was one of the most powerful days in history, my friends. It was really a very profound time in our history. And today on January 18th, we are celebrating and honoring the birthday of Martin Luther King, an activist, a man of the heart. And I came across a very powerful message by the Secretary of Defense. And he said, the, that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a man of deep and abiding faith, compassion, and dedication. He reminded us all that human progress never rolls in on wheels of inevitability and that the time is always ripe to do right. He challenged us all to live up to the ideals enshrined in our founding documents, that we're all created equal and down with unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And at the Department of Defense, they said that they are committed to honoring Dr. King's legacy. And on that note, I invite all of you to continue to honor the legacy of your spirit. What coils deep down inside of you? What is it that keeps percolating in you? Are you moving towards your own inner equality? where your inner world is at a high level of distinction, where it no longer looks into the negative or the dark side of things? Are you ready to stand in your power? Are you ready to give up anger and ego and greed and jealousy and attachment? Are you ready to be true? Are you ready to fight for this spiritual rights that's within you? Well, make it, make it this day on January 18th where we really begin to honor the life of Martin Luther King. But I'll tell you this, on this day as well, my founding father of the Brahma Kumaris organization, he passed away. And as I mentioned earlier on in the show, 9,000 of our centers in 120 countries took this day from 4 o'clock in the morning onwards around the world to go into a deep place of silence and love for the one father above So for all the great men, including my great-great-grandfather, Prajapita Brahma, who answered their call against what everyone else would say, whether they were going to try to assassinate you, did assassinate you, spoke ill of you, didn't speak ill of you, I take this day on the 18th to be a day of strength, power, and of the most courageous men in history. Not only are we celebrating Martin Luther King, but we're celebrating my great-great-grandfather, Brahma Baba, who started this incredible movement of the Brahma Kumaris, where you've got men and women standing strong inside of themselves, finding courage to transform vices into virtues, dark into light, sorrow into joy. I wish you all very well as we end today with just the highest of wishes for our humanity for really moving into a space of divinity and truth and goodness to believe that we are here to love each other the same and to not give sorrow or to not to take sorrow 
but to really be an instrument of change, an instrument of love. And with that, I'll end today's show on the special song that I love called Sub Kutch. And this song, translated in English, means you become what you think. So think the thoughts that are happy. Take care, everyone. <laughs>